pretty much on their minds and everything. How did you guys handle that? How do you feel your team handled on the ice? Um, you know, I thought for the most part, I thought we did okay. You know, obviously there's a lot of noise around the team right now. Yeah. Um, probably more so than it's been in a lot of years. And, uh, and so, you know, part of our job is to, uh, is to make sure we focus on the task at hand and, we, and, uh, and that's the game right in front of us. And that's, uh, that's our challenge, right? These guys are human. So, you know, I think I think that's one of the challenges that, that we have this time of year. But I, I thought, for the most part, um, I thought we played okay. I thought we had a lapse in the second period. We didn't play as inspired as, you know, in the second period. Uh, give Columbus credit. They pushed. Um, they tied the game. And, but I thought we did a good job responding in the third. So, you know, I liked the first. I thought the first period we were pretty good. Second period, I, that was the that was the period for me where you know we, we didn't play the game the same way that I, that I think we're capable of playing it, and, and so. Uh, but I give the guys a lot of credit. I thought we dug in in the third, and, and we found a way. Mike uh, Drew didn't complete the game after the second period. Any status on him? OC was diagnosed with a concussion. Mark? Coach, is it fair to say Ryan Graves has played a bit better the last couple weeks? And you subscribe to the, to the notion that defensemen take longer to adjust to a new team? Uh, yes and yes. I think uh, I think he's played uh, a lot better uh, over the last few weeks. Um, and I do think it's by nature of def I, I think playing defense in this league is the hardest position. You know, and, and, and so because of that, when players come to a new team, and there's new tactics and systems, this you know nuances to it. To, different teams tactics and I think it takes time it takes time to build chemistry uh, and my experience of uh, coaching te teams over the years usually the guys that commit on defense is the longest adjustment process so uh, you know I think Gravy's done a, done a much better job here over the last you know three plus weeks um, and I think his confidence has grown because of it you know I think he puts a lot of pressure on himself because team relies on in, in a lot of situations to help us win games so the penalty kill is one just defending in our end zone using his size defending our net front uh, you know look, these are the things that he brings to our team and so uh, I think he's doing a much better job. Uh, Mike uh, you made some lineup changes tonight or at least with the lines anyway what did you think of Lars on the top line and, and before he was concussed what did you think of Drew in the middle? Well, we're just, you know, we're trying to, we're trying some different things to see if we can't get some traction, you know, and, um, you know, when you don't have success, obviously, change is inevitable, and, and so we're, we're trying to find some combinations that we think, you know, give us a, the best chance to win, you know, and, uh, and so some of the options that, that you saw tonight were stuff that we discussed uh, for a long time. Um, you know, Lars is a, is a cerebral player. I think he has the ability to play in the top six. Um, he's good on both sides of the puck. And, um, and OC has played center. You know, and he's a center by, uh, it's his main position coming up to when, since he's been in, uh, with the Penguins. So he's played a lot of this at center ice position in, in Wilkes-Barre at the American League level. He's played a little bit with us. We know he's capable of, play, of playing there. So I thought OC did a good job uh, in the time that we had him there for the first two periods. Uh, I thought he did a good job. I thought he was responsible down low. He made some real good reads. You know, uh, he won a couple of key faceoffs. Um, he covers a lot of he covers a lot of area with his reach and his, and his skating ability. And so um, I thought he did a good job. And I thought you know Lars was fine on the wing. So it's just another it's another option for us. To see if we can get some traction. I thought Geno's line played well with uh, with Riley and Pusty. You know, I think Pusty's game is growing every game. He's getting better. You know, we're trying to get him to shoot the puck a little bit more, and I think that's the next step for him. It's just the confidence that he can score goals. He can really shoot the puck. But I think his overall game is, uh, has been been getting better and better. So, um, and I thought he helped. He really helped Geno's line tonight. I thought Geno's line. 
Mike, building off that, um, you know him as well as any, you know Malkin as well as anybody, I mean, not Jen, but you. And uh, he seems to be a guy that has a feel, and when, he, when he's feeling it. You know, Gino puts a lot of pressure on himself to produce offense, and when he doesn't, nobody feels with him. And he's also a guy that, you know, in, in my mind, he's a generational talent, and I don't use that phrase uh, loosely. You know, there are very few generational talents. He's a legit generational talent. We have two of them on our team, uh, which is an incredible privilege. And and so he's a proud guy. And for a guy that's a generational talent, when when he struggles to score or hasn't run in the net for him, nobody feels it more than he does. Um, you know, he's a guy that sometimes his confidence is all of him. And so when he does start to feel it, he scores a goal, makes some plays. Off his own confidence, you can see it. In it. He can, and these are the discussions I've had with him over the years. You know, the, the greatest thing about confidence is it's fleeting. You can get it back as fast as you lost it. It just starts with one good play, right? And then you build on it. So, you know, more so than probably a lot of players, you know, that might be the case with G. And when he's when he's when he makes a few plays. Puck was in the net for him, especially early in games. I, I think it energizes him. I think he gets another step in his foot speed, and, and I and I think a lot of it just stems from from the confidence that he gains from. Him. And so, uh, you know, tonight he had a strong night. I, I think I'm hopeful that that he can build on this. He's a tremendous talent, as we all know, and uh, and he's capable of.